and I think we are now changing language, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. We are coming back to, to English language and um, um, basically it's, um, it's uh, Daniela Werner. She will present uh, to us, um, uh, I think, more a safety feature, right? So how we can make our machine a little bit safer. So yes, um, on the one hand safer, but also um, a sensor technology you can use in a lot of use cases I want to show you later also. <laughs> Perfect, so <laughs> okay. the stage is yours. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone. Today I want to give, uh, to give you a short introduction in the IMSENSE ultra wideband sensor technology. And I want to um, focus on two use cases which are near field monitoring and ground penetrating radar. So let's start with the IMSENSE sensor technology. Um, our, the core of our sensor is the measurement electronics, which consists of ASICs um, we are designing by ourselves. And so we are starting to miniaturizing the sensor step by step until we have a system in package. This measurement electronic um, provides the specific ultra wideband signal, which we are then using to transmit it by an, ant by an antenna, um, which is application specific in the end. And all in all, we are then evaluating the data we are gaining from measurements by ourselves, um, and the data analysis is application specific again. Um, and what can you do with our sensor technology in the end? Um, on the one hand, we are doing imped impedance spectroscopy, which we can do because we are um, using the ultra wide um, frequency band. Um, Impedance spectroscopy is focused on material analysis, mostly of liquids in all industrial areas. But today, and at Bauma, we are focusing on the short-range radar. So short-range radar is a typical radar um, application. Um, you are doing radar measurements with highest precision, determining distances from the radar to the object, and then locate um, and determine the objects in the end. Yeah, and on the one hand, one of these applications is near-field monitoring, which um, is aiming to um, give a safe environment on a building station, for example. So what we are doing is we are detecting, we are calling this targets, and the end it's obstacle objects um, and humans, for example. And we can do this um, in every weather condition because we are measuring in a low frequency range, with a, which is 6 to 8.5 gigahertz. Because of the um, signal we are transmitting, we have no blind range in comparison to other radars. So other radars are getting slower if an obstacle is close to the, to the radar, and we don't have any issues with that but we are measuring in the near field, which is zero meters then to 10 meters maximum. Um, I already said we are using a quite specific um, signal, transmitting signal, which is a um, pseudo noise signal, which has a an, um, high bandwidth and a high stability. So we can't um, get disrupted by other sensors, but we are also not um, interfering with other sensors or disturbing them. Um, Yes, um, I already said we are integrating the sensor step by step, so there is a, um, the possibility of cost reduction. And I brought an um, example, which I think I can't start now because it's in video. You would see me walking in front of the sensor um, in the video over here. Oh, maybe it's starting now? Yes. <laughs> I hope so. So you can see me walking over here in the video, which is the reference data, just to show you that we are really measuring what we are saying that we are measure, um, measuring. And here you can see me walking around in a grid. Um, and you can see me even close to the sensor, so even if the camera isn't detecting me right now. Um, so as the video isn't starting, you can come to our booth and I can show it to you also. Um, as I said, we are using an ultra wideband signal, which is um, 6 to 8.5 gigahertz with a low transmission power, 0 0.1 milliwatt, which is um, one, one thousand still of um, a smartphone, for example. We have a quite high measurement rate, up to 10,000 measurements per second. Mostly you don't need that many measurements, but in the end we can do real-time applications. So let's go on to the ground penetrating radar. So 
in general, ground penetrating radar, crowd penetrating radars, um, do non-destructive measurements of the ground, of the soil, so to, to detect hidden objects, to determine them, to get their distance to the surface, and so on. So one application I will show you later where we did quite a lot of measurements already and we have quite a lot of material to show you at the booth too, um, is measuring the, um, the thickness of an asphalt layer, for example. Um, and there we, we saw that we can, um, or we can give a number to you, that we can measure distances with a high precision, which is caused by the wide frequency range we are using. So in this case, it's zero to six gigahertz, and the higher the bandwidth is, the better is the distance resolution and thus the distance precision. As we are using a low frequency range, we can penetrate through almost every material and some um, up to a few meters depth. And again, we can do real-time measurements, of course, too, in this application. So this is one measurement example. Um, we are, um, because of regulation issues, we can just use 1.6 to 6 gigahertz, but in general, we could measure from 0 to 6 gigahertz. So here you can see a measurement, um, so we are calling this radiogram, um, where you can, or you can't see it anymore because we calculated, um, or we, yeah, we calculated with the data already, so you can't see the um, surface um, anymore, which is here at zero. Um, and a bit lower at uh, five centimeters, you can see um, something in the radiogram which is caused by a reflection because one layer of asphalt ends and the second one starts and it get, uh, makes a reflection which we can then detect with the radar. And we used an automatic um, um, algorithm which is following this, um, this layer change and um, the result you can see is the red and bla uh, black line. And in this use case, we had measurements, uh, reference measurements, um, which are indicated by the um, white crosses. And with this measurement, we, we did some um, um, evaluations and uh, found that our accuracy for this use case is up to a few millimeters. So mostly we, got, uh, we don't get reference data and so we can't give a real number. Um, yes, so in theory it's less than one millimeter by the way, but um, in this use case we were up to a few millimeters and we can have a penetration depth of maximum 10 meters again, but it's depending on the material. So if you are interested um, and you have questions, you can ask them now or you can come to our booth later. Yeah, so again, time for questions. So, is there any question from the audience? Ah. Um, the microphone um, is um, again, I think, disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you can go closer to her. Oh, yes. Can you um, repeat the question? Yeah, um, who should visit our booth? So, in general, um, we are working together with companies who have a specific questions to, a question to their um, application or to, to some processes they are doing, and then they have a problem or a question, and we try to answer this question with our data. So, if you have a problem or something you can't measure right now because of... Um, moisture, for example, uh, so rain, for example. Um, yeah, please come to us and we can discuss your um, application. Okay, thank you. Another question? Maybe then I have a question. Um, the, the size of the sensors, is it more or less like uh, on my car if I drive backwards and... <laughs> no, so on the car you have a frequency range of... Uh, in the, or you are measuring your fre uh, frequencies of 77 gigahertz. So one antenna is just like this size. You're using... I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure. You're using a lot of those antennas. Um, and in the end it's the size of... Um, this, for example, the sensor, um, and the lower the frequencies get, the um, larger the, um, the wavelength gets, and thus the size of, this, of the antennas. 
So our antenna for ground penetrating radar is like this. Normally you have antennas like this for ground penetrating radar and for um, near field monitoring they are like this. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Another final question maybe? If not, then I say thank you to you <laughs> for this nice presentation. And um, yeah, and again, 